You remember her? She was in the Positions Deluxe video when she was a baby. Look at her now. She is a grown up. She tried to buy me in that video. So, thank you so much for watching and bye. But she does not remember because I haven't filmed a video in a while. Go! Go away! Hello everyone, my name is Jordan. Thank you for coming to the channel. And today we are about to talk about what I did last month, which is going and traveling to London for the very first time. As a theater kid myself, I was going to see one of those favorite shows that I always dreamed of having the privilege to see them live. The first show that came to my mind was Wicked, of course. That's one of my favorite shows of all time. I wanted to see that show for the very first time live and experience everything and, and see the magical numbers and the green and everything and Golalinda and, and everything was amazing but i will go in order of those shows i've seen hamilton i'm seeing wicked i also saw the miserables and the last one was the lion king the first day i was at the victoria station going outside i saw the wicked theater and i also saw the hamilton theater but since wicked was wicked is my favorite show so i said this all over again but wicked is my favorite show so basically my plan i schedule my show for tomorrow so what i'm trying to do since this is open right now and i am aware that they do two shows they do it twice because the security guards at first it was a woman and she was like okay so you have to wait until the show the first show ends i waited outside basically i did some other thing in at the victoria station and then when i when it came to the time they were both asking like what are you gonna do like and the man asked me do you have any tickets and i was like yeah i do but i have the tickets that i have is for tomorrow the thing is i wanted to get inside of this theater today because i wanted to buy some merchandise so i can go tomorrow with the t-shirt that i have right there i wanted to see the show with the wicked shirt they allowed me to get in and i don't know if they are allowed to do that if they weren't i'm so thankful and so sorry if this is not allowed and i'm explaining this out loud but they left me in and but there oh maybe i should show that when yeah maybe i should show that when the wicked i bought a shirt for every single show so we are starting with hamilton so we are going to change real quick i am so excited to show you this the first show is hamilton so for hamilton i bought this program they show you history wise because you know it's based about uh, real people. This is incredible. I enjoyed the show. I watched the Disney Plus uh, pro shots that they did with the original cast and I had so much less in the ears from watching and listening to this cast. The London cast, I will die for them. And I seen the videos that they post on Instagram, every single one of them, because I'm stalking all of them, of course. I fully recommend you guys to go to London and see this cast nowadays, because this cast is incredible. This girl over here, Shan Aiko, don't know how to pronounce her name. She stole the show for me, the entire performance. I didn't expect that character to 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 make that sort of an impact in me, because th that voice. Every single one of them stole the show, but Shan Aiko, you gain a fan. You I need to check the college because I need to applicate myself into this so I can get inside the job. When I think about Hamilton, I don't really think about Skylar. I think about her sister Angelica because she's so satisfied and all of those numbers. And also about Hamilton and Amber. But Eliza this time changed me. I like Simon. I like Simon. Simon, Simon also stole the show for me. He did amazing. He did so good. Simon Anthony Bradham. I didn't know who he was before watching the show. I saw a picture of him, but I didn't know how, how what his name was. Now I know. I follow everyone because I stalked. I'm a stalker and I follow the people. So I follow him and he liked one of my covers. That made it for me. That made it for me. So that's it. We are friends. We are friends forever. I can't wait to go back to London so we can be friends and, and I can be your standby. Okay, so merchandise. The original cast album, which has Lin-Manuel Miranda, 
I'm gonna change to this other show. One short day in the Emerald City. Weekend is the next show. Let me tell you about this show. It's my favorite show. One of my favorite shows of all time because I have Dream Girls, which I was able to watch Dream Girls. We are talking about Wicked, by the way. One of the reasons, few reasons, why I want to become an actor and Dream Roles, because we also have Dream Roles in this show. I would like to play back in the future. I took a picture of his poster um, when I was there. I was unable to see her. This Alphaba, right here, she sings. That's it, that's the end of the sentence. So good. So good. The moment that shocked me the most when I was watching Wicked live, I still can't believe that I did. One of the visual, visual aspects that shocked me the most when I was watching Wicked was during one short day when they changed to the Emerald City, this is story wise, okay? So the moment that they all started to sing again and the lights side by side it started to go green and that's the moment that I was like, wow, so happy to be in the theater witnessing Alphaba and Glinda with my own eyes. Listen, Hamilton and Wicked are those musicals that I always listen the entire time when I'm on the bus, when I'm about to work, when I'm going outside. All the time I listen to that soundtrack. <laughs> that's a memory that I will never forget and that was, that's never going to be erased. I would like to be back one day. I would like to be back one day. I will try my best to gain that role or to play Fierro. Okay, so I thought it's so good. It's so good. I adore it and I think it says it sets London right over here. Focus about those classes over here. You can tell that this is in London because you can see the Big Ben over here, the London Eye. This Hamilton and Wicked happened in one day and I repeated that for two different other shows that are the last shows that I'm about to be talking about soon. The next show is obviously Le Miserables. Don't need to explain why. This is one of other favorite shows that I have. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I will say about every single show that I witnessed to be and have privilege to see that they were incredible. All those members that were inside these shows, they are incredible and I show so much love into it. But just a bad thing when it comes to my experience with the Miserables. I was not allowed to witness one portion of the show because well, I was sitting there, there was a man, a giant man, that was not allowing me to witness the full 100% stage. So I was constantly like, hey, oh, oh, come on, come on. And sometimes the man that was in front of me started moving his head or doing this or whatever, talking with his, with his children. In Hamilton, it didn't happen. So, and I was sitting in, in the royal circle. I didn't sit in the grand, oh, no, I sat in the grand circle for that. Maybe I did for both. Well, yes, you did for both, Jordan. This is Jordan from the future, editor Jordan. I'm a different, the same one as just in the future. Um, just wanna to explain the things that happened. Okay, so I sat. Actually, I looked it up, and I sat at the Grand Circle for The Lion King and The Miserables, and I sat at the Royal Circle for Hamilton, and I sat at these stalls for Wicked. That's the only thing that I wanted to say. I didn't want to like look like uneducated, you know. So I just wanted to. Um, explain that and let's go back to the video but it didn't stop me from enjoying the show it didn't stop me from enjoying the show I kind of wish it was a different experience and maybe I was sitting in a different place it wouldn't I would enjoy the show so much better but I don't know maybe the sits were handled differently and maybe I wasn't allowed to watch the show that way as the stalls members were watching the show maybe the royal members because i was sitting in the grand circle for that show that's one thing last but not least is the lion king and this is this shirt oh. the reason why i um got myself a ticket towards lion king was because in my work i was as a, i work as a waiter um i should preface that helping some client and i was talking to them about 
me going to London for a trip and all that and I explained that I was at the time I only had the ticket for Hamilton and Wicked. So I eventually told her and, and she was like, Oh we are from London and actually if you are interested if you're so interested on watching um, musical shows and all that, you should definitely watch The Lion King. So surprised about how everything was working because I knew that they have like some props for the theater and the stage and how the stage moved and I didn't know that. I didn't know that at the time. Gary Jordan. I started to stalk every single member of these shows. He followed me back. What? He followed me back, so we're friends, we're friends, right? We're friends. Simon and I are friends too, but we can share a friendship with Gary Jordan as well. Recommend you to not go to the Grand Circle. That's cancel in the Mr. Robs. You can do it in the Lion King. I didn't have any problems with the Lion King during Grand Circle. But do not go to the Grand Circle. Next time, I would like to watch Moulin Rouge, which I figured that it was there. And I took a picture. I was at the train station when it, when it happened. And I was like, oh no, I should have buy this ticket as well. Because Moulin Rouge is one of, all, was also one of my favorite shows of all time, too. And next time, I'll watch it. Next time, I will watch it live. I will do it. I'll do it. I promise. I promise. I promise. But I promise. But I need to be there in order to watch it. So. I don't know when it's gonna be the last time I'm gonna be posting a video, but I promise, I try to promise to do more often. So, thank you so much for watching this video and I'm so dumb, okay.